Hey guys, here's Miss Helen again. Um, we are going to do part two of our water peach macromolecule and enzymes lecture. So the first lecture we um, left off with was our carbohydrates and our lipids. So let's go ahead and talk about the next round here, which is our proteins. Again, feel free to stop this video at any time to um, write this stuff down. Now proteins, remember, are like your bones, your muscles, blood, <clears throat> enzymes, hormones, things like that. Um, are made of proteins. Proteins in turn are made of what's known as amino acids. So this is the one puzzle piece. There's about 20 essential amino acids that we have or need in our body. And when we put those proteins together to create the long polymer, we're actually, um, proteins is known as a polypeptide. So it's many proteins put together, hence polypeptide. And we call it a peptide because in between every single amino acid right in here, is what's known as a peptide bond. So they're extremely, extremely strong so that the protein doesn't rip together. Because it would not be good if you guys were surfing and your muscle just ripped off your bone. Not good. So we need it very, very strong. The elements are chon. And so, <clears throat> again, our little saying that we're going to be um, learning is our cho cho chon, and then the next one's going to be cho pon. So just remember your cho cho, this one needs to be in a one to two to one ratio, which is your carbohydrates. But your lipids can be, as long as they have CHO, they can be any ratio, 1 to 5 to 10, whichever. Proteins also have CHO, but they also have that nitrogen base. And so again, the major function of proteins is to be used as a building block. They help produce enzymes, which help to <clears throat> digest your food and make activation energy lower. And then, of course, they also help with your hormones. Last thing on our macromolecule list here is our nucleic acids. Nucleic acids, um, you have our deoxyribonucleic acid, ribonucleic acid, and then ATP. So DNA, RNA, and ATP. <clears throat> they are made up of the monomer that's known as a nucleotide, and that's your sugar, phosphate, and then your nitrogen base here. You put both nucleotides together, and we end up creating um, DNA. So you can actually have a twisted ladder some nucleotides we can actually put together and it'll be a single ladder and that's what's known as your RNA. And your DNA here actually ends up kind of twisting all over the place and that's your deoxyribonucleic acid. He is what's known as Chopin, so he has everything. Um, again, the major function of your nucleic acids is for genetic information, protein formation, so your RNA actually helps build those proteins. And then your ATP is a type of energy molecule. Again, here is your entire chart, so feel free to stop the video if you want to write some of this down or if you missed it from the other video. All right, guys, let's go and talk about enzymes. Enzymes are a type of protein. Um, they are a protein that will help speed up the rate of reaction by decreasing what's known as activation energy. Enzymes are also known as a catalyst because, again, it speeds up that reaction. Catalysts, however, are not always enzymes. So catalysts can be like in surfboard resin. Um, that's not an enzyme, but it still speeds up the rate of reaction. Now, enzymes, make sure you guys write down, um, there's three jobs for them. They increase the rate of reaction. They will decrease the amount of energy that we need. And this overall helps your body maintain homeostasis. So here is a graph. Shows kind of like amount of energy that we need, super high, super low, and then of course our reaction time. So if I were to actually eat a cheeseburger, it would take a lot of energy, almost like 2,000 years worth of energy to actually start to break down that cheeseburger without any enzymes. But luckily for me, I have enzymes within my body, so when I go to eat, say, an animal style in and out cheeseburger, it's not going to take me a whole lot of time or energy. That energy, because of enzymes, has been lowered so I can digest it faster, obtain some of the nutrients, and then that in turn will allow my body to use my other energy for other things that I need, such as growing, talking, developing, any of that type of fun stuff. So just remember, enzymes are a protein. We increase the speed of reaction <clears throat> by decreasing our activation energy. So instead of taking this much energy, we now have this much. Last but not least here, guys, remember, remember enzymes are very specific to what they break down. They are known as a lock and key. So if I have some reactants over here, such as milk, which is a type of protein, protein that can hook up with an enzyme, 
it'll hook up at what's known as an activation site. So that's where they actually match together. That enzyme will break apart my milk, since it's a protein, into amino acids, and that in turn is known as your products. The enzyme actually does not get destroyed. It's reused, so every time you go to drink milk, it'll come back over and make sure to break down that milk. So just remember reactants are is that you are reacting to say like a big mall sale, yay, we're gonna go in, and then your products are what you bring out of the mall. So that's gonna be, in this case, amino acids. Keep in mind also from your pineapple lab that we can actually kill enzymes by changing the pH. So if you guys put, um, say, pineapple in a can, not only do we um, add a lot of sugar to that, but that changes the acidity of the pineapple. And so that in turn can actually kill enzymes. If you take your fresh pineapple and stick them in the freezer, um, the temperature will kill the enzymes. So that's why your pineapple can last a lot longer. And we also have these things known as inhibitors that will actually block the enzyme. So it blocks about half of it so that when this product of milk comes over, if I've got my finger in the way, it can't actually hook up to the enzyme because of that inhibitor. And so again, guys, please remember that enzymes will speed up the radio reaction. They are very specific to what they actually hook up to. So this enzyme will not hook up to, say, a lipid. And we can kill enzymes by either the pH, the temperature, or inhibitors. Hope um, that you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this lecture. Um, again, I do apologize about the blurriness um, of the camera, but um, please listen to these lectures a couple times, and hopefully that will help you with your exam, which will be next week. All right, guys, enjoy studying. Bye.